Welcome to Cooking with Tim, and today we're gonna make something really easy, it doesn't take very long, it's about a 30 minute cooking process. This is what I call an Italian sausage pasta dish, and it's one of my wife's favorite things that I make. So I've got all the ingredients in front of me for the most part, and now let me walk you through them, what you'll need in order to get started. I have two bell peppers, two onions, some San Marzano, tomatoes, some of the best in the business, and then I've got some simple Italian sausage. And for this particular dish, I don't recommend using the hot. I recommend the sweet, just because it provides such really good flavor to the actual dish. And then I'm using some linguine pasta. You can use fresh or whatever you would like, but I just like some hard linguine pasta. Then we're gonna use some basil to go on top of the dish. And then I've got some fresh minced garlic. So we're gonna start with a little extra virgin olive oil just enough oil so that we can develop a crust on the sausage. All right, so it's been going about two minutes and you can see we want a nice golden brown crust. And then we're just simply gonna flip them over and let them go for another couple of minutes. We're three to four minutes in cooking the sausage and we're simply just gonna remove it because it's got a nice golden brown crust on each side of the pasta. That's kind of what we're looking for. All right, lower the heat. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of white wine. I don't wanna waste any of those flavors that the sausage provided to the dish. So we're just gonna keep this on a low heat. And now we're gonna go chop our onions and peppers. All right, now let's slice up our bell pepper top. And then I'm gonna cut off the bottom and the side, just right there. Then we're gonna roll it on the side and run our knife all along the inside part of the bell pepper. And a lot of times I like to snack on the bottom. This is really good. I didn't take into account that I would chew it for a while. <laughs> right now I'm gonna cut it in half, stack it on top of one another, and then I'm just going to slice. All right, now we're gonna go for a, another one. Cut the top off, cut the bottom off. All right, and just slice the rest of them. The next thing is we're gonna slice an onion off with the end, and then I'm simply gonna slice it in half so that we can peel back the outer part of the onion. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice the onion. All right, now let's get our onions and peppers on the plate. Now remember the sausage is not fully cooked. It's just got a good crust on each side. About one inch to one and a half inch cubes. I mean, you can make it smaller, you can go thinner. There it is, there's all that sausage. It's gonna go back into the wok. I've got some fresh basil leaves here and we're just gonna chop a little bit of this because this is what's gonna go on top and provide a little bit more flavor once the dish is finished. Next, we're gonna open up a can of San Marzano tomatoes. Just get you any clear bowl or a bowl in general, doesn't have to be clear, and you're gonna pour the tomatoes into the bowl. I don't want you to puree the tomatoes, just rough chop them. So you can see here, it's just roughly chopped and you can even see some chunks and that's what you're looking for. Drizzle a little extra virgin olive oil. And remember that white wine had reduced down and provided a little bit of flavor. We've got our onions and peppers and we're just gonna slide those down into the wok. And we're gonna let this cook down. It's gonna take about five to six minutes. Now we're gonna add in all of that Italian sweet sausage. Next is we're gonna add in some fresh minced garlic. Add in some fresh black pepper. Then we're gonna add in some oregano. We're just gonna mix this together. All right, we're just gonna let this go for about three to four minutes. Now the next step is we're gonna salt our pasta water. Then next we're gonna add in some linguine. I like linguine for this particular dish. All right, we'll put a lid on it for a few minutes and we'll come back and stir it. 
In the meantime, our sausage, onions, peppers, and garlic, it's just getting real good and happy. All right, the next thing is we're gonna add in our tomatoes, our San Marzano tomatoes. Just gonna stir that and let it cook down. All right, now the pasta is cooked to al dente and then our Italian sausage mix is all ready to go. It's ready to receive the pasta. I'm just gonna dump it right into the wok. All right, now we just wanna incorporate that pasta. We're gonna get some of that pasta water. Just gonna throw it right in there. About three tablespoons will work. Now let's plate that Italian sausage pasta. So let's just go ahead and shred some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. And then some fresh basil. And there you have Italian sausage pasta dish, something my grandma taught me over 25 years ago. Thanks for watching, you guys. Come back for more amazing, delicious recipes when we cook it with Tim.